So the first thing is a boost. Um, it's what you'd expect from a distortion pedal with the distortion set on low and the output on high. Okay, so to activate this boost, you simply turn on the amp. Make sure you're on a distortion channel. Right now I'm on crunch. Hold down the tap button and move your drive past 12 o'clock. And you should get that. That the clean and insane light up together. Let the tap button go and there you go, you have a boost. Okay, so this next feature is quite useful. What it does is that all the smart effects that you've put in here Usually when you change channels, all your smart effects will go away from the previous channel that you've dialed in. Unless you preset them all to have the smart effects. With the, what this one does is that all your smart effect presets that you put in get carried over to the next channel. I'll show you how it works. To activate it, simply hold down the insane button when the amp is off. And then turn it on while you're still holding the insane button. Those two lights will come up. Then you put in the special effects that you want. Now when we switch channels those effects stay. The next feature is simply a noise gate and for me it was just activated by default on metal and insane. Crunch and clean didn't have a noise gate. To activate it Make sure the amplifier is turned on. I'll put it on crunch for this demonstration. Then you want to hold down tap. And can you see the last effects, special effects knob? That's the one you want to turn all the way into reverb as you're holding down tap. You know this has worked because the insane button should light up. The next feature is a factory reset. Simply all it is is that it sets every single channel back to how you got it from the store. So how the factory has already preset it. To do this, simply hold down the clean channel and turn on the amplifier. I'm not going to do this because I like my presets how they are. For this last one, we're going to use the tap feature. So all this is, then you turn on your amplifier and put on an effect like tape echo. Let's say I want something a little faster than that. Well, you just set in the metronome beat that you want this to go at or the rhythm of the song, whatever, and you input it in by just tapping it. As you can see, it works quite well. And then if you want, you can save it like that, or just when you turn it off, it'll go back to the way the factory has preset it. So thanks a lot for watching guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you figured out a few new things about your amplifier. and. 
yeah, don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. Is there, if there's more um, special things that I haven't mentioned in this video, write them down below in the comments. And see, another, see you in another video, guys.